Here we take a look at the sun path activity. What you'll want to do when you first uh, get into this page is go to this URL, which is an animation of the position of the sun for different latitudes. So control click and that'll get you over there. Now I got here pretty fast. It might take a while for you to get into this environment. But once you're here, you can enter in your latitude and longitude, or well, just your latitude position. And it turns out that this is a default value. 45 is a default that's pretty close to our position in Vancouver, Washington. I think more precisely about 45.6 degrees north would, would do it. And then I've asked you to look at the 15th of each day. And we'll go ahead and start out at January. And you can then click through here or play and look at the position of the sun throughout the year. February, March, April, May, June, July, and so on. The month and sunrise sunset times come down here in the lower right hand corner. You want to record those for each month. And then the altitude, the uh, angular distance the sun of the, to the sun above the horizon is given up here in this corner and that's another thing you, you'll record. But you can just step through here. We're at December. We could go back one step at a time through the year or go all the way back to January and then step forward and record the sunrise sunset times from down in this area and the altitude of the sun. The nice thing about this simulation is it also gives you the perspective of the shadow here of this chime tower and it gives you a sense of where the sun rises and sun sets. For example here's April if I advance to June this is indicating that the sun rises in the northeast. Okay, this, this is east-west. This east looks like it's at the tip of the chime tower, but it's not. It's really on the back of the gray circle. So this, the sun rises in the northeast. The length of day is quite long, and then it sets in the northwest here in June with a very short shadow length. Okay. Getting back to the assignment, I've asked you to enter the sunrise times, sunset times, and the altitude, again the degrees above the horizon to the sun, and then the length of day. The length of day is actually a fairly tricky, tricky calculation, and so I've provided a length of day calculator for you. Let me try and explain why it's kind of tricky. Let's say that the sunrise was at 740. This is military time. And it's set at 1530. And I wanted to take the difference between these two numbers to get the length of day. Well, 7 minus 15 would be easy to do, but taking 40 from 30 is a little bit tricky. And so like in, in first grade math, you have to borrow some minutes from the hours position. But when you borrow, you would change, you have to borrow 60 minutes at a time. So this would go 90, and this would go to 14. And now we can take the difference pretty easily. 50 minutes is the difference, and 7 hours. So 7 hours and 50 minutes would be the length of day in that case. The, the length of day calculator provided here makes it pretty easy to do. You just enter the sunrise time in hours and minutes and the sunset time in hours and minutes and then hit the calculate. calculate. So if we did this 1530, and I'm just making up these numbers, uh, oh, oh, sunrise, excuse me, was uh, 740 and sunset was 15. 30, then you can hit the calculate button and you get the 7 hours and 50 minutes length of day.
Okay. They've also, uh, in here in the assignment, asked you to graph the length of day on the y-axis versus the month on the x-axis and the sun's altitude on the y-axis versus uh, month on the x-axis on two different graphs. You could go ahead and plot it on a blank graph if you wanted to or use Excel. I, all of you know how to use Excel uh, fairly well. But if, if you don't have access to Excel right handy, you could go ahead and use this blank graph here and, and uh, make sure that when you print it out, you print it out in landscape mode so you get the full graph on it. And this makes it easy uh, to plot. For the 15th of each month, I would use right in the middle of the month and uh, I think for January it's 8 hours and 50 minutes or something like that for our area. Okay, and most of you will have already done the solar zenith angle for this activity, so don't go beyond this point right here. Okay, good luck.